Now, after nine months stuck in space, a group of astronauts have returned to Earth. And splash down, Crew 9 back on Earth. So that was the moment there that the astronauts, including Suni Williams and Barry Butch Wilmore, splashed down from space off the Gulf Coast near Ta Tallahassee, Florida. The trip was only supposed to last for eight days. But after issues with the Boeing Starliner, the mission's return was delayed. On Monday, Ms. Williams and Mr. Wilmore and two other astronauts boarded a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, then undocked two hours later for their journey back to Earth. That took 17 hours. Well, Alice Gorman is a space archaeologist and associate professor at Flinders University in Adelaide, and she told me a lot more about what the astro astronauts are now going through. Well, you know, they boarded their capsule to go home, but that was really only the beginning of a long journey. First, they have to re-enter the atmosphere, get down to the water. The rescue vessel is there waiting to receive them. And this would be an interesting moment. They'd be able to, to feel the waves underneath them, know they're back on Earth, but they can't just jump out and, and rush into the arms of their family. So... A NASA plane takes them from that recovery vessel to NASA Johnson in Houston, where they will finally meet their family. But they have a long process of readjustment to full Earth gravity. If they'd just been up there for those eight days, they'd still have to adjust, but it would have been a bit quicker. Now it's nine months. They're going to be feeling gravity sickness. Their bodies will be so heavy. And the touch of their clothes against their skin constantly is going to be a real irritant. So one astronaut said it takes longer to adjust on coming back than it does to adjust to space sickness when you go up there. Yeah, and it's hard to imagine really, isn't it? I, I, I was hearing that, that sleeping is really difficult because of the pressure on the body that, that they've not experience for for more than nine months but when they f when they just return there's a lot of science so there's a lot of information that people can gain from the two of them it's quite important they they get all this data isn't isn't it yes they'll be having a lot of medical tests of course their bodies were monitored the whole time they were up there too but now people um you know the aerospace doctors are going to be interested in what might be the long-term effects especially since it was unscheduled. We know that vision is a big problem for crew members who return. And interestingly, only 11% of all astronauts and cosmonauts have been women. So Sunny Williams has had this unexpected opportunity to stay much longer. So she's going to be able to add some really important data to what we know about how long-term space visits affect the female body. Yeah, and that's really interesting, as you say, and she's an experienced astronaut, because I must admit, I did, I did do a lot of research into SUNY, because I thought, my goodness, well, if, if I was going on a trip for eight days and didn't return for nine months, in my household, it would cause complete chaos. I've got quite a few kids. She's got dogs, <laughs> so things were not as complicated for her, but, but it did list, you know, if you look at, at, at NASA's information all about her, just how much experience she has. And you could see, I was really impressed with just how positive she and Butch both were, despite the fact that obviously it must have been quite, psychologically challenging being at ISS for so long, not knowing when they might return? For sure that uncertainty would be a big factor in, in just destabilising you and, and making you know miss your family more. However, you know, for most astronauts, the opportunity to stay longer in space is something that they see as an opportunity.